All right, so this is the final lesson. And in this, we're just gonna take a look at the cloud shader. So I'll just bring back one of the clouds and I've disconnected the shader from it. So if you, if I reload it, it'll just come in black. Okay, like there should be nothing else in there. Yeah, that's primarily what I'll get. So uh, I've disconnected everything. So we'll just build up the shader from scratch again. What I'll do is I'll just take a volume shader like a medium volume and plug it in. And what I need to do first of all is uh, get the absorption up to around 0.8 and the scattering up to 0.8. Okay, like that will allow the light to scatter through. And then I need to lower the density. So, and I also need to lower the volume step length. Okay, like by default, these both these things are connected. So the volume step length controls the shadow ray step length as well. So get this down to around 0 0.5. See, so you'll automatically start seeing more detail. And we'll get the density down to about eight. So it's relatively sort of soft and fluffy. But this itself is not enough, right? Like if you, if you lower it a fair bit, then you'll start, like it'll be fairly fluffy. But I need it to maintain a little bit of shape and get a little bit get a little more color so to do that we will connect a volume ramp to it okay so just take a, a volume ramp and plug it into absorption now by default uh, the colors are uh, reversed okay so if you connect it it'll end up looking like this so what you want to do is take the start point make it white and take the end point and make it black okay see so there you go so that immediately starts looking nice. Like this is looking somewhere closer to, you know, what you're getting here. But the only thing we want is we want a little more color in the shadows. So what I'll do is I'll add one point here towards the end and I'll make it like bluish. See, there you go. Or, you know, you can go closer to whatever is the painted color over here. And then you can adjust the max value. You know, so the lower it is, the darker it will get, the higher it is, the lighter it will get. And you can just sort of adjust it and see what you want. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you don't need to sort of adjust it too much. Like if you start getting it too low, it will become too, like it, lo it loses detail. Okay, so we need it to be high up enough that we can see the detail. Okay, so eight is a good place to be. And then if you disconnect the, the shadow uh, ray length from the volume step length, you can control the shadow density separately. So yeah, so I can like, let's say I keep this low and I keep that high and you can sort of adjust it accordingly. So this isn't bad, like, you know, it sort of helps speed up the processing time, but usually you want to keep them connected. Yeah, and then similarly, I also have the fog. So let me just bring back the fog. Okay, and where is the fog? fog yeah the fog is here the only rule you need to remember is uh, if the clouds are going to overlap just make sure that they have the same volume step length okay because if they don't then you'll start seeing like the the bounding boxes of the volume so just make sure that at shader level uh, you keep the same same step length for everything Okay, if you don't have the same step length, it will cause problems. Okay, so which is why I kept 0.5 for all of them. Like all the shaders, all the various cloud shaders I have, they're all at 0.5. Okay, and then similarly, we have the uh, we have the fog, which is very low density. Okay, like you don't want to keep it too high because then it just, it looks too dense. So it's at around 0.5 you know, or 6. Okay, and then similarly, I have this exact same uh, gradient over here with just sort of like a slightly higher max value like it does get slow trying to process it like see if i if i bring this in here and i overlap it okay it's fine right now but if i try to change the uh if i change the step length you'll start seeing problems you okay, see so immediately like you can start seeing it breaking up it doesn't really look as good as it should. So which is why the step lengths need to match. Okay, like if I come in here as well, and if I take this and I change this, so you can start seeing like it complete, it doesn't look very nice at all. 
So you have to make sure that both the step lengths like match precisely. Then you can overlap them. Then it doesn't cause a problem. Usually I don't. Usually you keep it because if they overlap, the render time also goes up. But yeah, this is that's pretty much it. Like if I if I just bring back all the shaders, all the clouds that I have, you should be able to see the final result. So some of the ones in the foreground, I kept them slightly lighter. Okay, like if I look at uh, like if I look at this one, the you know the density is slightly lighter. Like instead of instead of keeping it at eight, I wanted to keep it. I kept it around six so that you know light passes a little bit more. It looks a little it looks less dense. Like if you keep it too high, then it will be too dark and that doesn't look very nice. So yeah, so depending on what I wanted, I kind of just duplicated the material and just modified the density a little bit. But otherwise, it's the same shader with just minor variations everywhere. Yeah, so this is pretty much it. So this is the entire, uh, this is the entire scene. And this is how I ended up sort of recreating a uh, Studio Ghibli image in Houdini. Okay, of course it doesn't look <laughs> quite like that because that is hand painted, but uh, it was a fun exercise to try and uh, you know recreate like a two D painting in uh, in three D and you know try to maintain the same feel for it. Okay, so as I said, I will attach uh, this entire file uh, with with this chapter so you can download it and you know take a look at it. And if you have any questions regarding this, or if you have any questions regarding Houdini in general, you can ask me in the comment section, or you can write an email, or Instagram, Twitter, you know, whatever is preferable. I hope this was useful. Like this should, uh, like it, it gives you an idea of, you know, like you can use Houdini for doing, you know, some stuff like this as well. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it.